Well, here in the grounds of the Ag and Motion Farm Show, we get our chance, our first chance, to see the largest production tractor on the market, and probably, you know, aside from the specialty big buds, this is the biggest tractor to ever come out of a factory, deer or otherwise. Yep. Um, Michael Porter, you are uh, the go-to-market manager for these tractors. Tell me about it. Yeah, so behind us we have our new high horsepower 9RX, like we like to call it. So this is a 9RX 830, so 830 horsepower. It's a ground up redesign new machine for, for John Deere, and it comes in three models. So obviously the 830s are top, uh, top model of horsepower, then we also have the 770 as well as the 710. So again, a, a new kind of extension to our existing 9RX portfolio, uh, but redesigned, um, more horsepower, bigger weight, uh, new transmission and a lot of hydraulic flow. So this isn't just a case of putting a bigger horsepower engine in a, in a standard 9RX chassis? Nope, absolutely not. So a whole new frame, new chassis, new engine transmission. So really it's ground up redesign to address what our customers have been asking for in a larger machine. And what's the engine? Yep, so the engine in this is our JD18 liter, so it's new to the 9RX portfolio. Uh, but it has been in, in our Forge Harvester line before. So the JD18, obviously an 18 liter engine. Uh, this one's capable of peak horsepower of 913. So rated 830, but peak horsepower of 913. And the typical emission system that we've seen on the other deers? So actually this one, what's kind of neat about this machine is it has an EGR only. So this machine does not use diesel exhaust fluid, but we're able to meet the final tier four, tier five emissions. Um, using just the exhaust gas recirculation with this new highly efficient engine. Now it's also made it to a new transmission, right? Yep, yep. So we have the E21 transmission in this. So traditionally in our in our previous or our uh, smaller lineup, we had the E18. We're stepping up to a, an E21, and that's really just to handle the more power to the ground, but also give our customers more uh, more gears in that really that, that, that working range to give them more flexibility to ideally hit whatever, you know, seating speed they want to do or tillage speed they may want to do. Uh, and what's road travel speed on these? Yeah, so up to 26 miles per hour. 26 miles yep. an hour. So there's no, it's no slouch on the road. No, nope, no slouch on the road. And again, with that E21, what's really nice about it is they actually have skip shifts in there as well. It's faster shifting than our previous say, E18 transmission, which allows them to get up to speed on the road faster or get the air seeder up to speed or tillage up to speed um, quicker in the field. Now there's some new cab too we want to look at, right? Yep, so it's a Command U4 Plus cab, so it's redesigned. Um, so it's bigger, more floor space, more window space on the right. Again, when these machines are in the field, usually they have an implement behind them. So it allows them more space to look out, see what's going on behind them, and just kind of spread out because our customers spend a lot of time in these machines. And in that cab is also all of our latest and greatest technology. So G5 Plus display, uh, Starfire 7500 receiver on top, and what we're also really excited with model year 25 in this machine is it's autonomy ready from the factory. So it has all the components to do autonomy in the future uh, installed from the factory. So when a customer decides that autonomy is right for them, all they're missing is our perception system that they can add later on. When are they starting uh, delivery? Yep, so these start being delivered in November of this year. So a few more months. We have a few, obviously, kind of pre-production builds that are out and about um, for the, the summer and the fall to showcase the tech, showcase the new machine. Um, but the factory will start rolling these out first part of November. Now there's something at the back end we want to talk yep. about too, eh? Yep, absolutely. So let's go have a look at that. Okay. So yeah, back here on the back of the machine, uh, obviously we have our hydraulic stack, but it's really about the redesigned hydraulic system on this machine. So this machine has a dedicated hydraulic pumps and capacity just for the implement. So we have pumps dedicated to the machine functions like braking and steering and transmission. And then we have dedicated pumps, either one, two, or three, up to 168 gallons per minute, out to the back of the machine. So that means that if we're pulling a large air seeder or a large tillage piece, that we're not going to sacrifice seeding performance or anything like that, going down a hill and braking. We have dedicated flow to the back of this machine at all times with their own pump, their own hydraulic reservoir. So that's a redesigned hydraulic system on these high horsepower 9RXs. And what, at what RPM do you need to get that flow? So you can keep that flow at really any RPM. And the nice thing with our machine is we have efficiency manager where the machine, you can basically tell it, I want to go this speed and I want this amount of flow out the back. And it'll manage that engine RPM as it's going through the field to maintain optimal hydraulic flow and speed going through that field. PTO equipped as well. So grain yep. cart PTO capable. optional if you'd like it. Yep, so grain cart, absolutely. And then back here, the other th new thing you may notice is these weights. So these are our new monoblock weights. 
So this machine, if you walk around and look at it, you won't notice any kind of manual hand weights. Everything's kind of forklift ready. So we have a chin strap weight on the front that's underneath. And then we have mono blocks on the back and we have optional track weights. So we can ballast this machine up to 84,000 pounds to make sure that we're getting all that power to the ground and we're not getting pushed around by a big implement maybe going down a hill. Tracks only on these on these high horsepower models, right? Yep, and absolutely. Something new about the tracks, right? Yeah, so the track has been redesigned as well as the chassis and that's just because it is a bigger machine with more power. So uh, when we're looking at the tracks, you'll notice we have another mid-roller on the bottom. The track's a little bit longer. That drive wheel's bigger and all that is to help keep the power to the ground. So that, that track is wrapping around that main drive wheel, getting more lug engagement than we had previously. So that way we're not gonna have any sort of slip uh, or anything like that. And it's just a, a heavier, more durable track system because 84,000 pounds we talked about ballasting and peak horsepower of 913. So just to keep all that, all that horsepower planted to the ground, we have this new track system um, designed exclusive, you know, for this new machine. What track widths, uh, belt widths are available? Yeah, absolutely. So we have 36 and 30 inch belts. This would be a 36 inch belt here. So 30 inch belts um, available on our narrow frame machine. So on an, on an 80 inch spacing. And then uh, going out to 120 inch spacing, we have the 30 or the 36. And then we have two different track uh, options. We have our traditional, what we call the, the 3500 series. And then we have the heavier duty for a lot of straight line pulling activity, 6500 series track. So a little heavier duty track for that straight line pulling. And of course, John Deere uh, telematic system completely to yep. the operations center, everything there? Yeah, absolutely. So this one, yep, JD Link has the MTG like all most of our other machines do. Um, so connected to the operations center. So whether you're on your phone, iPad, laptop, can look at, see diagnostic information, can see performance information, uh, transfer guidance lines and maps, just like uh, our customers are used to if they've run operations center before. Um, and this one's no different, just again, with our latest and greatest display and the newest receiver option. And like you said, autonomy ready for when that does become a thing. Yep, right? absolutely. So that way, you know, we know down in the future people are going to be interested in, in, in autonomy. And so instead of having to go install a lot of things after the fact and later on down the road, we built it into this new machine. So that way it's kind of future proofing it. So when customers do decide autonomy is right for them, they don't have a, you know, a significant investment to get the machine up to spec. It already comes out of the factory that way. And that's available across our 9RX, um, the new high horsepower, as well as our 8Rs, 9Rs, 9RXs, and 8RXs. Great. Well, thanks for your time today. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me.